Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm just going to do a quick video and show you something new that I have got in my gardens. Um, I've had this for a little while but I've been meaning to show you. So let's take a look. Composting is something that I have always done because I have quite small space gardens. Um, big cost compost systems aren't something that I have room for at the moment. So I do have a compost tumbler which I got for free on like roadside collection or curbside collection where someone has put it out the front of their house not wanting it anymore and so I managed to grab that for free. Halen found it actually and brought it home for me as a gift so that was romantic but I only have one of them and at some point it gets full and I have to sort of leave it for a little while so all the plant material has time to break down and turn into compost um, and while I'm leaving it to do its thing I need to find something else to do with my veggie scraps and leftover plant materials so a lot of it I do chop and drop and just put in my back garden fence under my fruit trees as mulch um, but any like veggie scraps and things like that that I, that I don't want dog to get or I don't want to encourage rats or mice or anything like that so I came up with a solution to fix that problem while my compost is composting <laughs> And I am all about using materials that I already have at home to come up with ways to grow more food. It has holes in it for the there's the holes for the worms to get in and then I can just come in here and throw my kitchen scraps in the top the worms can go out into my planter and then they can go in there and get the scraps this lid is just a pot that I had and I filled in the holes and it fits on top perfectly and is pretty secure so the wind won't blow it off that will stop any mice and rats getting in well it should do anyway um, I haven't had any trouble so far so there it is my worm tower tunnel compost thingy for my urban permaculture gardens. Um, it is somewhere that I can use my food scraps so I have no waste and I can still continue to build soil and grow lots of delicious veggies. So I have popped some worms in these pallet planters and when I planted my seedlings, um, just worms that I got from my garden and because when I put my soil in I put lots of layers of green material um, and leaves and stuff so that they had plenty of food to thrive. The, the space is big enough that they won't get too hot and the plants provide them with shade and leaf matter as well when it drops. So I might actually do one for all of my pallet planters so that I can um, Again, let them start composting down and move on to the next one and just keep rotating. And they're sort of like worm farms and pallet planters and growing veggies all in one. So this area where I have my pallet planters is actually a paved driveway. And since having all these planters, um, I've noticed so much more wildlife. I have little lizards and 
tiny, the little birds, lots of bees, and it's so nice to just watch it all. The insects and animals start to come back to what was just a hot, barren, paved driveway. Hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and make sure you hit subscribe.